I'm starting off by washing my hands. Then I'm going to cleanse my skin using the Fenty Beauty Cleanser. Oh wait, Fenty Skin, pardon me. I just squeeze enough out to wash my face and neck and usually my decollete and then I go in. Now there's this rule that has been established. It is the 60 second rule. You can do it. I recommend doing it, especially if you are someone who wears a lot of makeup or just so happens to spend quite a bit of time outside, whether you're playing sports, being active. If you're sweaty, if, if your skin gets gross, you need to spend 60 seconds washing your face with your cleanser. And I like to do it by using my fingers. You can use a cleansing tool if you have one that you prefer. But I really just like to massage this in and I focus it on the areas where I produce the most sebum, which happens to be my T-zone, around my eyes, my nose, and my chin, and my forehead. Just everywhere, just massage it in. Then you want to dab your face dry or let it air dry, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> and I like to go in using my Spa Science Microdermabrasion Tool because guess what? Getting smooth skin is not easy and sometimes I need help just like everybody else. So with the Spa Science Tool, I'm able to do microdermabrasion, which is exfoliating the surface of my skin while removing unnecessary dirt and debris from my pores. I focus this in the same area that I really like to massage my cleanser in, which is my T-zone, around my nose where I have buildup, um, around my cheeks, and right underneath my eyes where I get a little bit of texture. This smooths everything out, okay? <laughs> which also makes it so much easier to absorb other products. This is the Caudalie spray. It is so, so good and refreshing. After I put that on, I like to tone my skin. This is the glycolic toner from Tula. It's awesome because it comes with a pump. You put it in your hands, obviously rub your hands together, pat it into your skin, and you don't have to have a cotton round. I personally prefer pressing my toners in now which is why you're going to see me using this toner. Fenty Skin Fat Water. That's right, I'm using more than one toner because guess what, it's my skincare routine and I can do what I wanna do. And that's on what? Period. So right after I use my glycolic toner, I like to go in with the fat water because the fat water is also a treatment. The glycolic acid will basically help with maintaining my pores being small and then of course the fat water treats my skin like a serum. So after that, I like to use my Laneige Hydro Essence. This is also a serum. It's a little bit more on the creamier side in appearance, but I press that right into my skin just like everything else. And y'all, when I tell you my skin is moisturized, okay? It is moisturized. <laughs> This is the Laneige Hydra Bank Moisture Cream. Now I really, really do love products like these because they come with a spatula. They're very luxurious, very old school and fancy. And of course, with it being Laneige, y'all already know what it is. More hydration. If you didn't know, my skin has sort of transitioned into being a little bit more dry, but that's not a problem when you moisturize, okay? So this is my second moisturizer, and no, I'm not putting this one on my face. I know y'all thought that that's what was happening, but no, we got to treat the neck and decollete. Is it decollete or decolletage? Let me know down in the comments. But it needs moisture too. Moisturize behind them ears, sis. Sometimes I put moisturizer on my ears. You just got to take care of yourself, okay? And have fun doing it. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know what your favorite luxurious products are, okay? And they don't have to be expensive to be luxurious. It's all about how they make you feel. My skin is moisturized. That is my luxury skincare routine. Some of many of the products that I keep in my, what is it called? Your repertoire. My, my repertoire, repertoire, my armory of skincare protection and defense. <laughs> Okay, comment down below and tell me what your favorite luxurious product is, whether it has a big price tag or not, it can be luxurious. If you've tried any of these products, let us know down below what your thoughts and experiences are, and if you have any questions for me about the products, leave them down below too. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and then enjoy the next video. You know, if you ain't got nothing else to do, or if you do it, you don't want to do it, here's your excuse. Okay, and we'll see you guys next time.